Welcome to General Chemistry 2 class. This section is organic compounds for causing information and structure of polymers. In this lesson, we will describe some simple reactions of organic compounds, combustion of organic fuels, addition, condensation, and saponification of fats. Polymer A polymer is a large molecule consisting of chains of repeating units called monomers. In a polymer, the monomers are linked to each other by covalent bands. Ideally, N molecules of a monomer A forms a polymer consisting of N repeating units of A. Structural formulas of a polymer is represented by the monomer enclosed with square brackets. A subscript after the square bracket indicates the number of monomer units. Major classification based on origin. Natural polymers prepared through biochemical processes. Synthetic polymers, man-made polymers prepared from commercially available compounds. Natural polymers. Natural polymers are found in humans, animals, plants, and other organisms. Synthetic polymers are found in various man-made products such as various plastic-made products, fabrics, and adhesives. Classification based on the monomers present. Homopolymer consists only one kind of monomer. Heteropolymer has two or more types of monomer in one chain. Copolymer. In some cases, different monomers are allowed to undergo copolymerization in order to form a polymer suitable for its intended application. Copolymers can have alternating or random arrangement of the monomers. Formation of copolymers can occur under controlled condition to make special types like the block and drop copolymers. Block copolymers are formed when a block or small chains of one monomer A is treated with a different monomer B. Introduction of B is done at the time that polymerization of A is still ongoing. Graph copolymers are produced by the formation of a homopolymer of A followed by the introduction of B in the presence of high energy. This high energy creates a reactive site at random positions on the polymer of A at which B can polymerize. Chain growth and step growth polymerization. Classification of synthetic polymers based on the method of preparation. Chain growth polymerization and step growth polymerization. Chain growth polymerization. Chain growth polymerization occurs when a radical or ionic initiator reacts with a monomer, usually alkenes, to produce a reactive species with which another monomer molecule will react. The process continues until the monomers are used up. Formation of chain growth polymers occur via a series of addition reactions. Schematic representation of chain growth polymerization is shown below. Chain growth polymerization. This type of polymerization consists of three major steps. Chain initiation step occurs in the presence of an initiator, a substance that starts a reaction, such as organic peroxides. Chain propagation step. Chain termination step. Under some conditions, polymerization may include chain branching step. For chain growth polymers, the group attached to the alkene monomer can affect the properties of the resulting polymer. The relative position of these groups, called dependent groups of the polymer, is called tacticity. Tacticity is crucial if the alkene monomer consists of different atoms or groups of atoms attached to the alkene carbon. Based on tacticity, Chain growth polymers can be classified as isotactic, syngetactic, or atactic. To understand the differences between this classification, let us consider the polymer of propylene. The resulting polymer chain consists of methyl, 
groups as dependent groups. Isotactic polymers Isotactic polymers consist of pendant groups arranged on the same side of the polymer backbone. In the given structure of polypropylene, the metal pendant groups are all on the same side located towards the observed. Sendiotactic polymers Sendiotactic polymers consist of pendant groups arranged in alternating manner. As shown in the given example, two adjacent pendant groups are on opposite sides of the polymer backbone. Atactic polymers consist of pendant groups randomly oriented on either side of the backbone. In simpler words, these refer to polymers that are neither isotactic nor syndotactic. Step growth polymers are those formed in a stepwise manner that polymer chains may grow separately without depending on other growing polymers. Growth of polymer chains occur either via a series of addition or condensation reactions. The formation of step growth polymers can be illustrated as follows. Note that the growth of polymer chains can start from any monomer molecule. A free monomer can be attached to any of the growing chains. These preformed chains can merge to form longer chains. Polyurethanes are step growth polymers that form by addition reaction of paraffinlin, diisocyanate, and ethylene glycol. On the other hand, nylon 66, a polyamide, is an example of step growth polymers which are formed by condensation reaction of hexamethylidiamine and adipic acid. To summarize, Polymers are large molecules consisting of chains of repeated units of molecules. Based on the origin, polymers can be natural or synthetic. Homopolymers consist of only one kind of monomer, while heteropolymers have more than one kind of monomer in each chain. Chain growth polymerization occurs in monomers consisting of alkene group in the present of radical or ionic initiator. Step growth polymerization takes place when monomers with two different functional groups from a polymer chain without depending on other growing chains. These are the references bibliography. That's all. Thank you for watching.